In my two previous videos, I took you to a short hike in Kana Mountain near Sofia to the Saint Joachim and Anna Monastery. And today I'll show you a little bit more of the monastery itself, and as it is a very small monastery, mostly of the monasterial church. In 1925, on this place were discovered old bricks, roof tiles and traces of buildings and the archaeologists found that they were a remnant from the 9th or 10th century AD. Later, researchers showed at that spot existed an old monastery named upon St. Peter but it was destroyed in the 14th century during the Ottoman invasion of these lands. So, a decision was taken to rebuild a monastery on the same place, and in 1947 the actual monastery was erected and the church was consecrated in 1950, while the residential buildings were built in the period of 1965-1967. Although the monastery is not functioning nowadays, there is a monk who takes care of the church and opens it every day. The church is very small but is well maintained with its renewed beautiful frescoes, the typical iconostasis and icons hiding the altar. You can see many depictions of the most prominent Orthodox saints and some biblical scenes. The more interesting thing is that during the archaeological excavations and the construction of the new monastery was found a moon necropolis. Under the nave of the church is preserved an ancient tomb from the 4th or the beginning of the 5th century, measuring 3.40 by 3 by 2.25 meters in height, which is accessed by stone stairs from the vestibule. Unfortunately, when I was there, the tomb was closed for visitors and I couldn't visit it, but I searched a little bit more information on it and I found that the way the tomb was built, east and west walls, connected by a vault, the traces of frescoes on the walls and a cross and an anchor, the two skeletons found inside with their heads to the west, all that testify that it was an early Christian tomb. Moreover, the archaeologists found that the old monastery and the tomb were originally connected with some settlement that existed in the early Middle Ages, although they didn't find nothing valuable except the tomb.
If you happen to visit the area, be sure to take a nice walk through the beautiful locality and visit this little gem, the St. Joachim and Anna Monastery. Thanks for watching.